Hey guys, so for this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna replace the Bowden tube on your CR10. I've had these break on me so many times, and so we're just gonna replace them. It's super quick, super easy. Um, the worst thing about it is putting nuts back and uh, screws back into the thing. You guys ready? All right, let's go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, as you guys can see, if I already cut it, and we're going to be missing pieces here, but that's okay. You're going to unscrew this thing right here from the motor, the feeding motor, and this thing just pops right off, see, with the Bowden tube. That sucks because this thing you have to replace every time it breaks, okay? So take that off. As you can see, the Bowden tube was already gone, is missing from here. It's because I already took it out. I wasn't really thinking about making a video, but um, you're just going to take the fan off using your Allen wrench right here. And then once this fan is off, I'm going to take this screw out, put it to the side. As you guys can see, I've already taken out both screws, which is here and here. Um, I already I just put one video uh, one screw back for video purposes. So that'll take the fan off, then you'll take this off to take the extruder off, okay? So once this comes off, you're also gonna take that screw and put it away so you don't lose it. It comes with a washer with it, okay? So the extruder comes off, and then this thing, this little nut thing here, screws right off, and once you take this off, this is the, the plastic bar, the PLA. There's a Bowden tube that comes in here. It can just pull that off and that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and replace this Bowden tube. Okay, so now that those are done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tube and I got this from Amazon. Um, so, did, uh, so were the, um, the, the nuts that go into the motor, the feeding motor. Um, there's 10 of them in here, all right, so you can get both of them on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want. And you're going to take about 15 inches of this, about 12, about a foot. Is that a foot? About a foot. So you're just going to cut this with some scissors, and then you cut them, and then from there, I'll show you guys how to put them on the CO10. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that um, nut that goes into the motor, right into it. I'm just gonna screw right that in. Okay, now make sure you don't have any um, PLA or plastic in there because this Bowden tube isn't gonna go, th this, this only goes through here one way. Okay, so go ahead and put this nut back into your extruder. Make sure it's there nice and tight. Okay, grab your wrench to tighten it. All right, you're gonna take your Bowden tube. If you wanna tighten it, you can actually go ahead and put your extruder in to right here. That way you can tighten the nut um, a lot easier. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the entire assembly back because the tubes just pop right in. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the extruder back and put the fan back and I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Okay, so now that that's in, this end goes all the way inside until it can't go in anymore. And then just like when you guys first got your CR10, this thing pops right in. And that is it, you guys. New Bowden tube. See, there you go. Now you can take your filament, put it right through in there, and then now we can test print. So I'm going to go ahead and run it through, and then I'm going to do a test print, and then um, we'll do final thoughts. And it looks like it's printing. It works. See? Um, the next video should be on a fan, because that fan is loud. 
So anyway, it prints, it works, it's awesome. Um, final thoughts next. So that's it you guys, that's how you replace the Bowden tube on your CR10. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to follow us in our Facebook group, 3D Printed Armor. If you guys like um, Iron Man and uh, Batman and Arkham Knight and all that kind of stuff, uh, we print stuff like that and we post our work on there. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, please do join us. I'll put the link down on the bottom below and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.